So here's the problem we have. A bedroom floor is 12 feet by 15 feet. Find the area of the floor in square feet. Well, I'm gonna start by making a diagram. I'm going to draw a rectangle that is 12 feet in length and 15 feet wide. And the length of each square, square represents a foot. So I'll have 12 squares going down and 15 squares going across. Once I have the diagram of my room, I can count up all the squares that are covering my floor. Before doing that, I'm gonna see if there's a faster way. I notice I have 12 rows in which there are 15 squares in each row. So instead of adding up 15, 12 times, I'll do 15 times 12. So I get 180 square feet. So there are 180 squares that are a foot long and a foot wide that can cover my floor space. Now the second part of the question asks, well, how many square yards can cover your floor? And in order to do that, I need to convert the dimensions of my room to yards. And I'll do that by using the fact that it takes three feet to equal one yard. So I'm gonna take the length of my room, which is 12 feet, and I'm gonna divide it into groups of three. And I notice I'm, I can get four yards out of that because 12 divided by three is four. And if I take my 15 feet, which is the width of my room, and divide that into groups of three, I'll get five yards because five times three is 15. So now it looks like I have four rows and each row has five square yards in it. So five rows of four would be the equivalent of five times four, which equals 20, which is 20 square yards. In both examples, by knowing the length of my rectangle and the width of my rectangle, I was able to find the area. So my formula for area of a rectangle would be the length of the rectangle times the width. I also noticed that it takes nine square feet to equal one square yard. So I could use my answer of 180 square feet and divide that into groups of nine, and I would get 20 square yards.